the Shundo, the most powerful, most rare, most sought after Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Few have them, many want them, but what are the best ways to get them? Number one, legendary raids. Legendary raids are the most obvious ways to get Shundos just because there's always legendary raids happening. There's usually shinies in the legendary raids. And if you go on Twitter, you just see people flex in the Shundos. And the reason why is because legendary raids have the highest shiny odds in Pokemon Go, one out of 20. And legendary raids also have a 10, 10, 10 IV floor, which means the lowest IV you could possibly get is 10, 10, 10 with 15, 15, 15 being the 100%. This means mathematically you have a one in 216 chance to get a 100% IV Pokemon from a legendary raid, mixed with the one in 20 chance of getting a shiny, giving legendary raids a one in 4,320 odd on giving yourself a Shundo. Now this number seems a little bit daunting, but it doesn't stop me and everyone else from spending way too much money on raid passes when the raids come out. For example, my Battle Legend badge says I've done about 5,038 legendary raids, but I got lucky twice getting Shundos out of the legendary raids, starting with Kyogre. Chat! Boom, yes! Yo! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's a Shundo! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, I present to all of you, the beautiful, magnificent, Shundo Kyogre! Oh, dude, look at that, bro! That's crazy! And here it is, this absolute monster. It's a Shundo, it's best buddies. Oh, dude, also, I just, I just want to do candy to XL candy. We'll get another 16 XL candies. We can power this thing up one more time on its way to level 50 which we are really slowly and surely getting there. It is so difficult. But this wasn't the only Shundo that I got from the Legendary Raids. I did get one more, Heatran. Wait. Wait. Wait! Chad, Chad, it's a Shundo! Oh, let's go! Oh my God! Oh, yes! Let's go! Dun-da-da-da! <laughs> Oh, dude. It looks so good! This monster also... Wait, dude. I mean, I can't get it to level uh, 50, but we can get it to 4,069 CP. Nice! Might as well! It's a Shundo. And now it's a 4,069 CP Shundo. But quite possibly one of the most iconic Legendary Raid Shundo moments didn't come from me. It came from my friend, who I'll link in the description down below, JT Gilly. Ladies and gentlemen, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! <laughs> it might. It is. Yes. Number two, special research day events. In these events, basically you just get a bunch of field research or easy special research tasks to complete to hunt one single Pokemon, which can be shiny. Ones we've had in the past include Phoebus Day, Clamprol Day. Uh, Minchino Day, Sneasel Day, Meryl Day, and most recently, the Egg Sighting Surprise Execute Day. Now, although I've never gotten a Shundo out of a Special Research Event Day, the odds are just as good as Legendary Raids, if not better. During these events, the shiny odds of the Pokemon you're hunting is boosted to either 1 out of 10 Pokemon or 1 in 20. So, that's sometimes 50% better than Legendary Raids, which is ridiculous. Field Research also has a 10-10-10 IV floor, which again gives you a 1 in 216 chance of getting a 100% IV Pokemon out of, the, out of the Field Research. If the shiny odds are 1 in 10, your Shundo odds are 1 in 2,160, and then if the odds are 1 in 20 for the shiny out of the research, your, your odds for a Shundo uh, are 1 in... 4,320. Now, obviously these days are a lot harder to get Shundos on because you only have a set amount of encounters that you can get from the research. And sorry, this isn't field research. This is like a special research that you're given. But with the shiny odds of one out of 10, this is definitely a good event to go for. Shundos during. And usually the Pokemon are pretty cool. Like it's, there's been some fun shinies in the past. Number three, lucky trading. Lucky trading is actually the number one best way to get Shundos in Pokemon Go. And they're not called Shundos, they're called Shlundos. Shlundo is a shiny lucky hundo. Now, why is this the number one way to get Shundos or Shlundos in Pokemon Go? For onesies, it is a guaranteed shiny, like 
100% because it's just a trade. And number two, it's a guaranteed lucky, which has a 12-12-12 IV floor as a lucky Pokemon. Oh, and I probably should explain a little bit how to get lucky friends. To get lucky friends in Pokemon Go, you basically need to add someone as your friend on your friend list, and then you need to interact with them once per day until you get to best friends. Interacting could be doing a raid together, trading together, uh, or sending gifts and opening gifts. And then once you hit best friends, you have a one in 20 chance of getting lucky friends, which means once every 20 days, you should get lucky friends uh, with someone. Although that is so not true because Gilly, Jake, Connor, Gavin, and Lauren and I have not gotten lucky friends for decades. And these are the only people that I see enough to trade with, which is tragic. Okay, so back to the math. With a 12-12-12 IV floor, there are only 64 combinations of potential IVs, which means you have a 1 in 64 chance at getting a 100% IV Pokemon from a lucky trade. Now, it's very obvious what that means. You get a 1 in 64 Shundo chance. The odds of a Shundo from a lucky trade when trading two shiny Pokemon is 1 in 64. That is obscene. And although I've done a lot of lucky trades in the past, I've only gotten one Shlundo. But I still got one Shlundo, and it was a sick one. Yeah. Oh. Will it be lucky? Oh, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. Nice. How are your enemies coming on on that one? Oh, we're looking. Let's see. Oh, Pretty God. good. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's really impressive. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. That is in, this is, you know, this is my first ever Shlundo. I've oh, ever yeah, had yeah, First yeah. ever I've ever had. Gosh, and here this beast is the Shiny Lucky Hundo Gigalith, which I did level 50, obviously. Um, I double moved it. I mean, this thing, I use this in raids because it's it's sort of good as a rock type attacker. Um, it's just like my pride and joy. I, plus, this is one of the coolest shinies that I have in general. Dude, I'm so <laughs> I'm so proud of this one. You have no idea. This is probably one of my favorite, this is like a top three favorite Pokemon in my entire collection. So, do your lucky traits. Number four. Community Day. Community Day is such an awesome event because it happens every single month and it's always, well, okay, it used to be, it sometimes is, a really good shiny and even a really useful shiny with new moves coming to these Pokemon. So it's a great Shundo to get, usually. And the reason why Community Day is so good for Shundo hunting is because you have a shiny chance of 1 in 25 on Community Day. One out of every 25 Pokemon you click on during Calm Day should be shiny. This is why a lot of people like myself will end some of the six hour community days with like 40, 50, 60 shinies because if you have enough spawns, you can just go off. Now that's the shiny chance. But what about the hundo chance? In Pokemon Go, there is a one in 4,096% chance uh, a Pokemon in the wild will be a 100% IV Pokemon. That is full odds in all technicality. So if you do the math, technically getting a shundo on calm day is a one in 102,400 odd, <laughs> it's, which doesn't sound good, <laughs> but that's because you're clicking hundreds, potentially thousands of Pokemon throughout the day. That's not what the math really looks like. On community day, you're out with your community, you're walking around with people, people are communicating, and there's thousands of spawns happening. The likelihood of a 100% of your Pokemon spawning on community day is really high, especially if you're in a city or a really dense park where the spawns are absolutely absurd. And when a hundo does spawn during community day, you have a one in 25 chance of getting a shiny or a Shundo. And during possibly one of the greatest community day events that have ever happened in Pokemon Go, a 100% IV Pokemon did spawn in the wild and my friends and I ran for it. There's 100% IV Larvitar up here at 39 and it's not close, but maybe. We're actually going for it. We're going for the 100% IV Larvitar and there's like four Larvitar checks here. There's a Kingler, there's a Tentacruel. John Hankey's hanging out with us. We're speed walking in Loki running all the way over there. There's so many shinies. There's so many shinies. 30 minutes left. There's 30 minutes left in the event. Tarantar is now the greatest, the best, statistically just the best overall rock type attacker in Pokemon Go. Which means a 100% IV Larvitar is the best of the best. 749, okay. Yes, Golden Raspberry that, definitely. Yes. We're not gonna mess around here. That's 100% IV Larvitar. This will be definitely evolved to the Tyranitar, get the Smackdown moveset. It's 137. There we go, we got a little bit of a win block. So 749 CP, wonderful HP attack defense, 100% IV Larvitar. Number five, 
Raid day events. Raid day events are great because usually you get like five free raid passes. So you already have a bunch of free attempts uh, at the raids. The most recent raid day that happened was actually Mega Kangaskhan raid day, where the shiny odds of Kangaskhan from raids was boosted to apparently something like one in 10. I don't know if it was actually that good, but it was, I think it was either one in 10 or one in 20. We'll be, we'll just do one in 20. Well, also legendary Pokemon have one in 20 odds. We did cover legendary raids earlier with a one in 20 shiny odd and a 10, 10, 10 IV floor from raids. You have a one in 4,320 chance at getting a Shundo. But if you go to Twitter, you could see plenty of people getting Shundos from Kangaskhan Raid Day. There was definitely a lot out there. So it does for sure happen on the Raid Day events. And again, they're great because maybe you get a Shundo, maybe you don't, but you get usually up to five free raids to get a cool legendary or uh, you know a Kangaskhan, which is a regional. And again, the shiny odds are usually really good and the 100% IV odds are decent as well. And we've had some really cool Raid Days in the past like Moltres and Articuno where we got some cool stuff. Yes, there we go! Oh my gosh! Finally! I was so stressed! Cheers. We all shiny. You did! I did! I was like, you did! Gilly! You put a little sparkle there. Gilly has. I will. I'll throw the edit. And finally, number six. Shadow Shinies. Shadow Shinies, this is probably like my favorite way <laughs> to get a Shundo. Even though I do not have one from Shadow Shinies yet, I'm confident it's gonna happen. But I will say this is a really bad way to Shundo hunt because according to Silph Road, you have a 0.024% chance of finding a 100% IV from a Grunt or a Leader. <laughs> 0.024%. The nice thing with shadow Pokemon is that you can purify them, and by purifying, it gives you plus two on each IV stat, which basically means if you catch a 13, 13, 13 shadow Pokemon, you can purify it, and it will give you a 100% IV Pokemon. So I don't know what the likelihood of getting a 13, 13, 13 and up Shadow Shiny Pokemon is in Pokemon Go, but it's really difficult. <laughs> it's I haven't done it yet, and I've done a lot of team leaders. But just know, the moment it happens, I'm purifying it. Although, I, again, if you head to Twitter, I have seen so many people get Shundos from the team leaders, usually from purifying, because if you're if you're just trying to get a Shadow Shiny 100% of the Pokemon, according to Self Road, you have a 0.00038% chance of doing that. That is technically impossible, but if you get a 13, 13, 13, you can purify it. So it's still a Shundo and it's cool and I would do it if I got that. And those are the top six ways to get a Shundo in Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments, have you ever caught a Shundo before? And I'll see you all in our next adventure where hopefully we fingers crossed get a Shundo. Who knows? See you then.